Please welcome Celeste Burgoyne. Hi, I'm so honored to be here with you guys today. My name's Celeste, and I'm on the board of makers, and I'm proud to work for Lululemon. My story, I imagine, is like many of you in the room today. Every day I wake up aiming to live into my best life. Not the life that I think I'm supposed to want, or the life that I think those that love me most want for me, but the life that I have chosen. The life that exemplifies what matters most to me. I was raised by two wonderful parents, by a mom who had a big job, and a dad who came to every school event, whether he was invited or not. <laughs> um, and none of those things were all that common back then. So after graduating from the University of San Diego, not far from here, I found my personal love for business. I started working for a small retail company, and I fell in love with the entrepreneurial qualities right away. I was 22 years old, I was leading a team of 30, and I was responsible for everything within those four walls. Retail was not a passion of mine, it wasn't something I thought I was gonna make a career of, but I fell in love almost immediately. Since then, I've had the good fortune of joining Lululemon a little over 12 years ago today, when there was less than 10 stores in the US. My family thought I was crazy. I packed my bags, moved to Canada, and started working for a company where they couldn't even pronounce the name. But I went anyways. Within my first seven years at Lululemon, we had a blast. We worked hard, we opened 25 to 30 stores a year, we went public, and on top of that, I got married and had two sweet little boys. Those years with all the change were wonderful, and I attribute a lot of that to the culture of personal development and feeling a family at Lululemon. And it was that same environment that I leaned on when I needed it most. It was that same environment that supported my boys and I when the unexpected happened. When my husband, the love of my life, passed away from cancer at the age of 40. Nothing prepares you for something like that. So we all know life happens. And I just wanted to share a few things I've learned along the way. First, it isn't about having it all. No one can actually have it all, that isn't a thing. But what it is about is figuring out what it all means to each of us. What our all is. And what I've learned sometimes the hard way is if you don't figure out what your all is and choose it, someone else may choose it for you. Prioritize relationships. I mean real friendships. Give to them, lean in, be vulnerable. Don't take them for granted. I think we all know that we'll need those relationships more in the future than we can even know is possible. So I'll leave you with a few final words. Large and small, we all know it's the choices we make each day that create our future. But it may actually just be the courage to move forward that matters most. Thank you guys very much.